Good morning from Fast. So we dropped off Alec and Ashlyn at the airport, and now we are on the start of our honeymoon. Yay! So we need to go to France. So we decided to take the train because it'll be easier. We got this free drink. It's peach flavor. A non-alcoholic peach beer. So it tastes like beer. That's cool. It tastes like Korean peach beer. It does. It tastes like peach beer. All right. We are going to take the train from Basel to Strasbourg, and we're going to pick up our car there and drive to Luxembourg. This has been an amazing day so far. The train is so beautiful and the weather is so nice. So let's get going. We are on our way to our Airbnb and we stopped at the gas station and just got some chips and M&Ms because we haven't eaten all day and basically the gas station has nothing. Good morning from France. Bonjour. So we're basically at the edge of France, like we said earlier, which is borders Luxembourg and Germany. It was just easier to stay here because we're going to Luxembourg and Belgium next. And we wanted to show you our Airbnb. This is one of my favorite Airbnbs ever. It's very spacious and it's super cute. Okay, yeah. we're gonna show you. Okay, front door right here and right next to the front door, there is this super cute porch. And out here on the porch is a beautiful morning view of the French countryside. I keep saying we're in Schengen, which isn't true. We are in Cirque Le Bain. No idea if that's how you pronounce it. But this is absolute middle of nowhere. It's a four hour drive from Paris. It's like a two and a half hour drive from Strasbourg. The room itself is super spacious and decorated really cute. We got a cute little kitchen area and that table actually can get bigger so it can fit more than two. And you have this entire kitchen area that is fully furnished and super clean. And here is the toilet room on the left and on the right is the bedroom. There are two twin beds and again a ton of space. You can crack this window in the morning and let in some beautiful sunlight. Then of course you have the washroom. This room has a shower, a really large counter area, and a laundry machine so you can wash your laundry while you're here. So yeah that's the Airbnb. This is one of the most spacious and clean and just really nice Airbnbs we stayed in. Uh, so we definitely recommend this one and we're gonna chill out here for just a little bit before we go into Luxembourg and get some coffee because I'm a little sleepy because we got back at 1 a.m. last night. Okay, so we are here in Luxembourg, the city of Luxembourg, in Luxembourg. And we decided to get some specialty coffee first. So the coffee shop that we wanted to go to, they're closed right now for a little bit of a holiday, so we decided to go to Bloom. And we tried it, and it was good, okay. but we've been to so many specialty coffee shops where this one was kind of mid. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like amazing. So Luxembourg is a very small country, and there's not a lot of coffee, but it's okay. It's really cute and really pretty, and one of the things we're getting ready to go see is very pretty. It is Chateau de Vianden. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a castle that we're gonna go see an hour drive north, then we're gonna come back down and spend the rest of the day in Old Town Luxembourg. So let's go explore. Okay, we are currently at Chateau de Vianden. Again, don't know how to pronounce it. It's on the north side of Luxembourg. It's tucked away in this beautiful valley. The drive was amazing, so gorgeous. This town is so cute. <laughs> yeah, exactly, it feels like Shrek. So this castle was built in the 11th to 14th century, according to the pamphlet we've been given. It fell into a state of ruin after changing hands several times, and in the 70s, it was restored. And now this castle, which has faithfully been reconstructed, is uh, one of the prettiest and most beautifulest and bestest castles ever, according to the country of Luxembourg. All of this is ceramics that would have been found in this sort of place. Some of these actually are artifacts from here, I think. Hello, welcome to my cooking show. So today, for lunch, we have some chicken, 
and some water. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Great cooking show. Is it ye old Yemisi's kitchen? Okay, so the castle was really interesting. Honestly, I didn't know what we were getting into when we saw it. But if you have time, I definitely would recommend spending two hours there. But we kind of had a late start, so we kind of had to rush it. Yeah. But otherwise, it was a really cool experience. Yeah, the museum was really well laid out, and it's really beautiful, especially with the weather today was perfect, so. And also, this little town is super duper cute. We're not gonna spend any more time here, unfortunately, but it was definitely worth the drive, and it's really, really nice. So if you like idyllic, small little towns, you should definitely check it out. Now we're gonna go hiking. Okay, we are currently at Mueller, Mueller Tall? This is a trail here in the middle of Luxembourg, and it's right next to the river, down in these beautiful hills. This is the most relaxing country I think I've ever been to. Everything's so slow, everything just seems so chill. Definitely a great place to come when you're just looking to chill out. I feel like I'm a chocolate bar that sat in the sun and just started to melt into the surroundings. I don't know what that means. Okay, let's go hike. <laughs> So we did a very short hike and it probably is about maybe like 45 minutes but we just wanted you know it's just to enjoy the nature and just take that little walk because we did a lot of hiking recently and we don't <laughs> want to kill ourselves because we have a full day tomorrow. Luxembourg is just really relaxing I feel calm. So this dish is considered one of Luxembourg's like national dishes. So like I said, it's like a flour dumpling with cream sauce and some bacon. So let's try. It's good. Mind blowing. Mind blowing. It's good though. Okay, well that was traditional Luxembourg food. It was good. It was just very, very, very simple. <laughs> I'm very full. So we're gonna walk it off by going to the cathedral. All right. Let's go. Chocolate ball McFlurry with caramel sauce. In France, McDonald's is an institution. It's a cultural institution. It's not just normal. And there's like a bakery inside, and there's like a cafe. It's like so much more uh, high quality and like interesting. It's like a sit down actual restaurant. It's called McDonald's. We're gonna eat the McFlurries now, and we will do a food review when we get back to the Airbnb. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Okay, here is the McDo hall. I get my usual, a double cheese. It really does look like a burger. <laughs> There's no sesame seeds. How much alike does it taste like? 
Does it taste like a double cheeseburger? It tastes like a double cheeseburger. That's like, I'm not sure we can define McDonald's as well made, but like somebody just didn't slop it together. Yeah. I got a blue cheese bacon burger. And this has been sitting in the car for about 20 minutes on the way home, so I don't know. It tastes like McDonald's, but especially compared to American McDonald's, it's really good. I guess that's all for us, for Luxembourg. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Stay tuned, because we're going to Belgium. All right, we'll see you in Belgium.